Hey there, it's Todd. I have been working on a FileMaker AI coding assistant uh, to help me generate FileMaker scripts in particular. And that's come, it's coming along pretty good. And I want to show you all how it's working. This is me actually using it in an actual project where I'm using it to write scripts. You'll see that it still makes mistakes, but it is pretty useful to me because it's already, it's already faster at creating code that doesn't have typos and, and that kind of thing in it. Um, it's pretty good at not doing typos. It makes mistakes and getting confused about different script steps and stuff, but it's pretty easy to fix that stuff. So anyway, here's what it looks like. And uh, let me know what you think. Check it out. All right, things are getting fun now. So let's see. Here's what I want to do. I've got um, a script, which is going to get an array, a JSON array. And that array looks like this. And there's going to be a bunch of these. So what I want to do is write a script which parses these out and writes them into, uh, and then writes those values into a field. So I know it's going to make a couple of mistakes, but let's see how far it can get. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start with this. I'm going to copy to the clipboard. I'm going to paste it in here. I'm going to say, um, um, start with this script step. So that should just parse it out and just show us something to work with. There we go. And so now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to, I'm just going to copy that array and I'm going to say, um, uh, so webhook, webhooks array, um, looks like this. And I'm just going to paste in inside of code fences. And I'll say write um, a series of script steps that parse, that, um, that loops through this array and parses the properties into into variables. Let's see how it does with that. So it made so it made a mistake here. This should be list values. So it's got a couple of issues here, but it it got this part perfect, which is pretty nice. This is the stuff that takes a long time to fix. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and Let's just, we'll fix this in another round. What I want to do now is I want to see if it can tackle this next part. So I've already created a table in here that I want this to be populated into. So let's uh, copy that to the clipboard and we'll add it to my chat here and say, here is the table I want you to save. Um, those properties into. Can you list the fields just to see if it's got it's got it? Can you list the fields? Looks pretty good. You can now modify the previous scripts. Yes, I would like you to. Yes. Please go ahead and write the set field steps. Okay, it's thinking, thinking. We'll see. Wow, it jumped through. So yeah, I mean, this is assuming that it's a new record, which is okay. I didn't give it a description one way or the other. So um, that's pretty good. Like I said, we still have to fix this, but I'll fix that later. Let's see if it can handle, let's see. In this case, do I care? Let's, um. okay, so...
before. I think it did it do everything else right. It looks like it did, right? Boom, boom, boom. So let's say before you create a record, let's see if one already exists. Add, um, use, perform, find to locate a record. Okay, let's do that, see what it does. See how it does with this. Thinking, thinking. Boom, check for existing record, perform find. Record exists, update it. Oh, look at that. Pretty sweet. Now it can be smarter. Um, we could get rid of all of the set fields can move outside the if except for this one. So I could tell it that. Um, move all of the set fields outside the if and if, oops, if and if except the one for the ID. Thinking, thinking. Boom, boom, boom. Thinking, thinking. I mean, this is pretty useful already because I didn't have to write any of this. I'm gonna have to fix this script. There's, this is still goofy. I'll get to that in a second, but man, the rest of this looks pretty good. Um, I can easily add allow error capture, set error capture on and all that stuff to the top. So let's just go with that. Let's just go with that. And we've also got to add a go to layout here. There's more to do, but really the main thing is Oh my goodness, did that make this so easy? Let's see if it got, if it made any mistakes in that paste. So this is a lot of point and clicking or keyboarding and writing and possibly typos. And man, it looked like it did it just perfectly. Um, well, I mean, this is fine, but this is really just slightly better. I could also add a thing to like check to see if if it missed any, if there were some that got deleted and then delete those, which I can probably add a little bit more complex, but we can go with it. This is pretty good. So let me fix this one thing. So we got the webhooks array. That's right. Um, it didn't quite do this. What it needs to do, it doesn't quite know how to do this. This is a little tricky is... Um, because this is just an optimization that I haven't told it told it what to do. But we need to use JSON uh, list values here. Um, webhook array. And then, whoops, uh, yeah. We go like that. And then we need webhook list. And basically here. Yep. And then we need to change this one. Oh, interesting. I plus one. Let's see. Is that actually right? It might be. It's not the way I would do an iteration, but I think it might be right. <sighs> Value is zero. Yeah. So it's always getting the one. That's actually correct. Okay. That looks correct. So this is pretty good. Let's see if we can get it to look for ones that, let's see, this is gonna be tricky to explain, but this will be interesting if it pulls it off. So I'm gonna go in and say, um, here is the corrected script. 
display it. Looking pretty good, finishing up. Mm, okay. All right, so now we want to check. Because um, basically the problem is for all the records that weren't found, right? So we're getting all these webhooks. It's just like we're getting a bunch of webhooks. It's an array of data. I want to check for all the ones that aren't there anymore and delete them. So what we're going to do is, um, can I do this here? Let's see. I'm going to, I haven't given it context, which I will, but let me just start with, um, so what we can do is, hmm, how can we do this? We can do this in a couple different ways. Um, I think one way to do this would be just to add to, uh, what's the easiest way to do this? Um, we could add a field here called, called, um, marked. This is a way I like to do it. It's, it's kind of easy. And, um, yeah, I just, well, let's see, let's see what it can do. I don't know what it's gonna be able to do. So, um, first we need to replace all in a field called marked. Place all in a field called marked. Um, set it to one and then at each loop set the field marked to zero then after the loop find all the records that are still marked and delete them. Ha! <laughs> we'll see what it can do with this. This is pretty complex. Looks like it's not going to update the script. I'm probably going to, it's going to give us a plan and then we'll tell it to update it. Maybe let's see. It's funny, it's actually slower when I'm recording a screen, I, that's, which is a little surprising, but it is what it is. So well, it looks like I did it. So let's see. Yeah. Did not, let's see. Before the loop starts, yes. But it really did not do that. It got that part right, and then it deleted it down here. Yeah, it didn't, you don't need to use, um, so it didn't, yeah, so. Um, let's see, at the top of the script here, you can use the replace script step. Let's see what it does. I don't know that I've tried replace with this. Yeah, it's using original layout. It's getting a little lost here.
Mark all records. Yeah. Didn't get that. Let's see. Yeah, there we go. That's right. This is actually right. Okay. It doesn't know about original layout, which I'll teach it later. Um, and then we can say... Instead of this, use the delete all script step. All right, this might be pretty darn close. Delete all records, no dialogue. It looks pretty sweet. All right, let's try it. So let's look at our script. So, okay, so it didn't get that one right. I'm just gonna fix that. I thought I fixed that earlier, but go to layout still looks, I wonder what it, that should really work, but I may have something wrong in my prompt. Um, yeah, it doesn't know about that. So we can just get rid of that and we can just say, go to layout original. And that is that, so yeah. So replace with Mark, that looks good. We're gonna run through a loop. We're gonna do all the things. And let's just see over in webhooks, we should have a nice uh, layout here. Let's pull Marked out. Uh, there's no records in there. Let's just run the script and we'll just see, we'll run it just as is. Oh. We do need to pat, we do need to call, let's see. Um, no, so what I need to do actually is, I forgot, we have to call. I'm gonna perform, um, perform script, and we're gonna call a script that already has uh, get member web hooks, and then this, is actually just changes to get script result. That's right. So that's how our script is supposed to work. So what do you think? We just run it first time and see if we get a bunch of data on this layout? Why not? Uh, no, we only got one. Oh, there's only one. That's five, right? <laughs> I forgot. There's actually only one record. So that is probably correct. Um, we can run it again and we should still have one record in here. So we can check that. Let's refresh the members webhooks again. We'll do that. And yeah, it still found our one record. So there we go. So we should, we can add a, uh, to make this a little cleaner down here. Let's just show all records. Ta-da! Chatted up uh, AI, mostly, you know, I think it's useful. It's useful for me because this kind of stuff is very tedious and very error prone. And so I still have to check through, I have to read, I have to be careful, I can run debugger on it. But writing the meat of the script, I don't have to do, which is pretty freaking sweet. So that's it, thanks very much, bye-bye.